menu, I thought uh, I thought you did a great job. I mean, I was just food, beer and food pairing is something that I have a lot of interest in, and I like to cook at home. And I'm not I'm not a chef by any means, but you know, I spent a lot of time looking at the relationships between uh, the components of beer and the components of food. And so when I I went through the uh, the menu, I was just kind of like looking at like, like things that are just like basic pairings. Like you had the, the really highly carbonated wheat beer with a lot of fats and oils and, uh, you know, duck confit and, uh, um, you know, vinaigrette, citrus, all kinds of stuff. Um, and I'm just looking at like just on paper, that's like textbook perfect pairing. Those are things that, that go really well. And then, you know, once all the food came out, I thought the presentation was awesome. I mean, it was super generous portions. It was... Uh, you know, it was like mom and pop. It was purposefully mismatched silverware and, you know, mason jars. And, uh, it, just, it was kind of like you went into your, your family's Thanksgiving dinner and they just, like, fed you home cooking. Yeah. So the courses came out. They came out on time. Everything was hot. Everything tasted great. Uh, I mean, I was, I was blown away. Well, thank you. Yeah. You're too kind. I mean, that, that was kind of the theme. It was, you know, obviously family style, but... Um, you know, I want to I want to kill people with the food. You know, like let, let them let them eat till they're till they're tired. As I say, when we go to Hawaii, but uh, you know, it's uh, it was a real pleasure to be able to work with the beers at the same time. I mean, um, you know, the styles are pretty straightforward, but the subtle nuances and the characteristics that you like put into each one, I thought were incredible. So it was like really a pleasure to to work with each one. You know, and, it was, and it was a no brainer. Like every time, you know, we're thinking of what to do, is it, it was easy. You know, you just kind of look at. Certain styles of beer, I mean, you, you would know this too, I mean, it's what you do. Certain styles of beer just go well with certain types of food. You think like uh, like a wheat beer, citrus, you know, like obviously you're going to get an orange in your beer, so, you know, you put you know, citrus with the wheat beer, but also a fast go with that also, with the citrus, so that's an easy match. Um, with the Baltic Porter, you know, it, when you sip on it, it's beer, but it tastes like bourbon, so, you know, it's <laughs> like, you know, obviously I want to do like something integrating bourbon into the dessert. And, you know, looking at the poppy, I, I know that's like a popular beer of yours, so I wanted to showcase that, and, you know, uh, hoppy beer stands up to, like, spicy food, so a little, little subtle spice uh, goes a long way to match with something like that, so. So I guess uh, Figaro Mountain Brewing Company is a new craft brewery that opened uh, just two years ago in the setting as Valley, North of Santa Barbara. It was opened by a father and son, Jim and Jamie Dietenhofer, a local family. Um, they basically, basically, Jamie fell in love with craft beer when he was in uh, college in Washington. And then for the last decade, they've kind of been talking about the idea of opening their own brewery and then finally put the trigger two years ago. Um, and they brought me in, set up shop, came up with a beer program, and it's been a kind of a whirlwind snowball story since then. I think that, um, I think maybe culturally, there's been a shift. If you look at Fine wines, um, you know, you can spend $150 on a bottle of wine to drink a really good wine. You can spend $10 on a really great beer and it could be world class. Um, I think that the consumer is very savvy these days. They expect more for less. I think that that fits into, you know, the culture of, you know, um, what we do also. Like, we want to bring a great product, you know, to the average person. And I think, you know, beer is a, you know, beer is a drink everybody can enjoy at the same time. And, you know, like uh, AJ was saying, like within a certain style, there can be a million different varieties of beers with different, you know, subtle nuances and characteristics that easily pair with, you know, an infinite array of, uh, you know, different tastes and palates. And I think that um, especially someplace like LA, there's this developing sense of elitism where people aren't satisfied with, you know, dime store, whatever, knickknacks, mass-produced beer, uh, food out of a can, anything like that. I think it's just one more uh, dimension of people's, like, awakening uh, palate, basically. Um, and there's a lot of advantages that, that beer has that wine may not have. You know, uh, beer is carbonated, and carbonation interplay with food is, is really interesting. Uh, you know, beer is, is uh, hoppy, and, and uh, beer has a lot of intensity in some ways that, that wine doesn't have. Beer does not have acid or tannin, usually, so it's just, it's like another part of the triangle, basically, as far as uh, beverages and food go. I wouldn't be surprised to see, uh, you know, spirit and food pairings, or uh, beer and cigar pairings in the future, either. Absolutely.